Hey there! In this video, we'll take a look at consuming HTTP APIs from a .NET client using the ABP's client proxy system. First of all, let's create our application. It's going to be using the app template by default with the MVC UI and SQL Server as the database management system. And it's been created. Before starting, I'm going to apply these steps. The first step is automatically done when we create a new solution. We just need to apply the second step, which is running the DB Migrator. And now let's get started. First things first, we're going to create the application service interface. It's going to be called iBookAppService and it's going to have this method only. I'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to head to the application contracts project and I'm going to create a directory or a folder right here and I'm going to call it books. And here I'm going to create the interface and I'm going to call it iBookAppService. And I've replaced the content right here. Then we're going to create the DDO. I'm going to copy this from here and it's going to be in the same directory. Book DDO. And I've replaced it right here. And so we're going to be exposing this app service as an HTTP API to remote clients. And it's going to be this method only carrying this DDO, which has got the name, the author name, and the price. And the next step is going to be implementing this app service. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to be applying it in the application layer. Let's create a directory, call it books. And in there, I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call it book app service. For the sake of the example, we're not going to be calling it from the database. Instead, we're going to populate them right here. We've got three books with the name, author name, and the price. And we're going to retrieve them. And the next and the final step is going to be consuming the HTTP API remotely using the console test app. And it is fully configured to do that. I'm going to copy its contents from here and I'm going to paste it in this class. Also, this one's a bit faulty since it doesn't have any parameters. We're simply injecting the book app service interface to consume the remote service and ABP handles all the details, performing the HTTP request, deserializing the resulting JSON object, etc, etc. And we're going to write the list of the three books that we've populated on the console. Before we test it, there is one thing that I would like to explain, which is in the HTTP API client layer right here. If you check the module class, you can see that it is using the HTTP client proxies right here. This is the configuration right here, which is coming by default. And it's using the dynamic c -sharp client proxies that get generated on runtime. If you wanted to use the static one, then you can change this one to add static HTTP client proxies and do the other extra steps in the documentation. However, we're going to use the dynamic one in this video. And so let us run our application. And while it's running, I'm going to run the console test app. And you can see them right here, hunger, crime and punishment, and for whom the bell tolls. The HTTP API client proxies are being generated on runtime. We have exposed the service and it's being consumed remotely by our remote client. Thank you for watching and see you next time.